Alright, so we've got our pot at a rolling boil now. And so we're ready to add the, uh, the malt extract. So what I'm going to do is kill the heat. Let this settle down a little bit. Uh, if before I said that this was a dry malt extract, I can't remember. Uh, I apologize, it's actually a liquid malt extract. It kind of looks like a, it's a thick syrup, almost like molasses. Uh, I'm not sure how good this camera angle is. I actually just put the camera in my shelf, so we'll see how, we'll see how this turns out. Um, so what you're going to do, I'm just going to let this calm down a, a little bit, uh, is you're going to pour this malt extract in. You're going to do it very slowly, and you want to pour it into the center and mix it as you're pouring it. Uh, there's two reasons for this. You don't want it to stick to the sides and burn, because it'll give your beer uh, some nasty flavors. Uh, but you also want to do this slowly and mix it because the uh, the malt's going to kind of encourage more boiling, and you do not want this to boil over and you know kind of foam up over the sides, because as you can probably see, the stuff is incredibly sticky, uh, and I do not want this all over the stove. So this seems to be a little bit calmer now. So I'm just going to gradually start adding the malt. Never done this before, so let's do it quite cautiously. This smell is just fantastic. <laughs> the, the scent is irresistible. I don't know if you can hear me talking over the stirring, but I'm basically just rambling myself anyway. So um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep this moving, make sure it mixes in, doesn't touch the sides or the bottom, uh, and just watch for, for boiling. It looks like it's calmed down, so I think I'm okay. All right, folks, all the malt has been added, and so far the pot is not uh, boiled over, so that's a good sign. So I've uh, turned the heat back up on high, and I'm just gonna let this get back into a gentle boil. And then once that happens, I'm gonna set a timer for one hour and let this boil for an hour. So uh, basically from this point on, about halfway through I'll do some more things, but it's just gonna be a lot of waiting. So I apologize if this camera angle is not the best, but it's the only way I can uh, use both of my hands. So I've waited about a uh, little over 20 minutes, and I'm going to add the, uh, the hops. Um, so some recipes will call for you to add these right at the beginning, others won't. Uh, hops contribute to the bitterness of your beer, so I've decided to wait a little bit. I don't want my beer to be too bitter. So you're going to want to add these very slowly to your pot, because these can really cause it to, to boil over. So. Uh, as was the case with the malt, be very careful. Uh, you may want to turn the heat down just a little bit, so I'm just going to start adding these gradually. Just mix those in there. And these really have a kind of a bitter, almost like a pine needly smell to them. Make sure that gets mixed in there pretty good before I pour more in. And you're going to pour in about two-thirds of the bag. So I've poured in around half at this point. And again, just doing this nice and slow. No need to rush. Okay, and I'm going to save the, uh, the other third of the package because that's going to be added later on. Just put that to the side. Keep on mixing it and uh, keep letting it boil for the remaining, you know, half hour, 40 minutes, depending on when you decide to add this. All right, so we're at about the 30 minute mark. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is actually start boiling a cup of, so this is just brown sugar that I've got on a spoon. You can use regular sugar as well. I'm just going to add that to this water. Uh, this is pretty hot. You know, it's on the verge of boiling. So I'm going to mix that up and I'm going to get this stuff boiling for a little bit. And the idea is to make, you know, a sugar water mix that is very clean because you are going to use this to sort of reanimate your yeast in a little bit. So I'm just letting this boil. I'll let it boil for a few minutes just to make sure I kill any bacteria, whatever might be in it. Uh, coming from the sugar. Just have a quick look at the pot. It's always a good idea to keep checking. Yeah, it's doing alright. It's probably clogged up the lens there. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's going. Just let that do its thing. And what I'm going to do, I've already gotten a cup of, warm, uh, of water going. This is about lukewarm. 
Um, so this came from the kettle, so it's been boiled and sterilized. And what I'm gonna do is add the yeast to this in just a minute. Um, first I'm gonna add a bit more hot kettle water in just to make sure that it's at about 100 Fahrenheit. Um, and once I get it there, I'm gonna add the yeast in. And then once the yeast has been sitting there for a minute or two, I'm gonna put some of that sugar water in. And that is going to sort of help the yeast get going. I basically want the yeast to already be fermenting when I add it to my fermenter um, with the, the mix that I'm making right now. And uh, well, you've heard the expression, hit the ground running. We want the yeast to hit the beer fermenting in this case. All right, so we're just a little bit past the half an hour point. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is, uh, is put the yeast and sort of reanimate it. So I've mixed this water. Uh, so this was water from the kettle. Um, I don't know if you can see me, but this was water from the kettle. Uh, it's gotten to about room temperature, so what I did was add a bit more kettle water to it to get it to about 100 Fahrenheit, and that's roughly where it is right now. So what I'm now going to do is add the yeast. Here's my brewer's yeast. This is a dry yeast. So I'll just uh, tear up my package here. There's a tear line. I think I have to cut it. Okay. So I've got the package open, and I'm just going to add the yeast into the water, like that. Make sure I get all of it in there. It's got kind of a sour smell to it, actually. And I'm going to have a quick look at my stew just to make sure it's okay. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the sugar water that I showed you before. I just turned it off, so it's been boiled on the stove for a little while now. It should be good. I'm going to throw this out. Just gently give this a little mix so that it all gets nice and hydrated. All right, so it's been just a couple minutes. I basically had time to uh, run some cold water on the outside of this pot just to allow that water to cool down because it was boiling just a moment ago. So now it feels like it's pretty much lukewarm. I'll take the temperature just to be sure. So let's uh, make sure I sterilize this thermometer. Keep things nice and clean. Keep an eye on the pot. It's always a good idea. Make sure it doesn't boil over. And let's see where this uh, where this water is at. Okay, so I'm getting like high 80s Fahrenheit, which should be fine. So I'm gonna add that to my yeast. I'll give us a drink. This thing I have to clean later, so I can go over there. So I'm gonna add some of the sugar water into the yeast, and that will give the yeast something to to start eating. And it'll also let me know if the yeast is still alive. Don't necessarily need to add all of it, just give it some give it some sugar. Okay, so we'll let that sit. And what we should see in a little while is it's starting to bubble up, and that's how we know the yeast is uh, has come back to life.